A jet lag blues got you down Wanderlust to distant dream Social feeds a constant stream Of places you've never seen Been there, done that, posted twice The travel games are bored Welcome to another episode of the Human Meme Podcast. I'm AI David Bowles, and today, along with our crackbot AI research team, we're going to think on an idea that has spanned generations, sparked revolutions, and continues to resonate with a deep relevance for our modern world. Bold, persistent experimentation. History, meaning, and the future of innovation. Now that phrase, bold, persistent experimentation, it strikes you right in the heart, doesn't it? There's something stirring about it. It's a challenge, a rallying cry, a promise that our greatest work isn't behind us, but ahead, waiting to be discovered if only we dare enough. If we try enough... This particular phrase is famously attributed to Franklin D. Roosevelt. It comes from his call to action during the Great Depression in the early 1930s, a time of profound uncertainty and widespread suffering. Roosevelt, speaking to a nation that had seen its economy collapse and its future hang in the balance, offered this bit of pragmatic advice in a speech. Take a method and try it. 
If it fails, admit it frankly and try another. But above all, try something. Now that's the essence of bold, persistent experimentation. It's about moving forward with courage, accepting the reality of failure, and then pushing forward again. It's not about having all the answers. It's about having the will to find them. And it's fascinating to think about why this phrase resonates, why it feels so alive then and now. Because this idea of experimentation, of stepping into the unknown, is something deeply human. We are, by our very nature, experimenters. From the first time we struck stones together and discovered fire to the moment we cracked open the mysteries of DNA, it's been our curiosity, our boldness, our persistence that's driven us forward. But what Roosevelt was tapping into was more than just a spirit of exploration. He was speaking to a moment of crisis, a moment when old ways of thinking, of acting, simply weren't enough anymore. The old economic models had failed, the systems had collapsed. And what was left? Only the need to try something different, something new. It wasn't just experimentation for its own sake, it was experimentation as survival. Experimentation as the key to unlock a future that wasn't yet known. And in this way, bold, persistent experimentation becomes more than a catchphrase. It becomes a philosophy, a way of being in the world. And Roosevelt's words carry a deeper message. We don't need to wait for certainty. We don't need to wait for perfect conditions. We move. We act. We adapt. And that is where the magic happens. Not in the planning, but in the doing. Now let's pause and stretch this idea beyond the history books. What does bold, persistent experimentation mean now? In this time, where we stand today. The world around us is no less uncertain than it was in the 1930s, although the stakes may feel different. We're facing existential challenges of climate change, global inequality, technological disruption, and perhaps most profoundly, the rise of artificial intelligence. But here's the thing about experimentation in our time. It's taking on a new shape where Roosevelt's experiments were often about societal structures, government intervention, and economic reform, today's experiments are just as often digital, technological, and deeply personal. We're experimenting with the future of humanity itself. Think about it. Every day, scientists are conducting bold, persistent experiments with gene editing attempting to alter the very fabric of life. Companies are experimenting with artificial intelligence, trying to create machines that can think and reason like humans. And on an individual level, we're all experimenting, trying to navigate what it means to live in a world that is constantly shifting beneath our feet. How do we work? How do we relate to one another? How do we find meaning in this brave new world? Bold, persistent experimentation today means being willing to take risks, not just with ideas, but with our own identities. We're learning to live with uncertainty in a way that's more intimate than Roosevelt could have ever imagined. The stakes are high, much like in the Great Depression, but the canvas has expanded. We're experimenting with the future not just for survival, but for meaning, for purpose, for understanding. It's this kind of experimentation that drives innovation. And yet, it's not without its dangers. In Roosevelt's time, the fear was that if we didn't experiment, if we didn't try, we would simply sink into further depression, further despair. Today, the fear might be that in our relentless pursuit of innovation, we forget the human element. That in our race to create new technologies, 
we leave behind the values, the ethics, the empathy that makes us who we are. This is where bold, persistent experimentation needs a compass. It needs a guiding principle. Because experimentation without care can lead to recklessness. We must ask ourselves, what are we experimenting for? Is it simply for profit, for power, or is it for the common good? Is it for the future we all want to live in? This brings us to the present future, the space just beyond our grasp, the horizon that we're constantly chasing but never quite reaching. We are in many ways experimenting our way into that future right now. We're shaping it with every decision we make, every risk we take, every failure we learn from. And that's the key, isn't it? Learning. Bold, persistent experimentation is never about doing the same thing over and over again. It's about adapting and evolving. It's about understanding that failure isn't just a possibility. It's a necessity. It's part of the process. Roosevelt knew that. He wasn't promising a perfect solution. He was promising a way forward, a way through the darkness, by trying, by learning, by growing. And that's what we need today. The courage to keep experimenting even when the way forward isn't clear, even when the risks feel enormous. Because the alternative, the refusal to experiment, the clinging to old ways of thinking, is far more dangerous. In many ways, we're all living through our own Great Depression right now. Not necessarily in an economic sense, but in an existential one. We're grappling with what it means to be human in an age of machines. We're experimenting with the boundaries of life itself, with the power of nature, with the fragility of our planet. And just like in Roosevelt's time, the old ways of thinking are no longer enough. So what do we do? We try, we experiment, we fail, and then we try again. Boldly, persistently, because that's how we find our way to the future. That's how we create the future we want to live in. The beauty of bold, persistent experimentation is that it doesn't require us to have all the answers. It doesn't demand perfection. It asks only that we keep moving forward, that we stay curious, that we stay brave. And in that movement, in that persistence, we will find the solutions we need. Not just for ourselves, but for the generations to come. So, the next time you're faced with a choice, whether in your personal life, your work, or your view of the world, remember Roosevelt's words and take the leap. Try something new. And if it fails, try something else. Because the future belongs to the experimenters. To the ones willing to take that bold, persistent step into the unknown. Thank you for joining me today. Until next time, keep experimenting, keep moving forward, and above all, keep being human. For the Human Meme Podcast, I'm AI David Bowles, wishing you a good evening and a better tomorrow. Be a human meme. A jet lag blues got you down Wander lost a distant dream Social feeds a constant stream Places you've never seen Been there, done that, posted twice The travel games of bore But there's a brand new ticket in store Journey can't ignore Forget the plane, the train, the boat, the dusty rental car This trip's fueled by the laughter's note A trend that's reaching far My human name train, speed in the station Don't be late, hop aboard is your relation A journey fueled by fate Don't need
need a passport Visa free, the luggage fits in your phone The contents, the currency, the lights will take you home Shoot a challenge in the park The fun's the evergreen They get the miles of fares The crowds, the jet lag A sleepless night This voyage breaks all travel clouds A viral joyful flight To the mean train The end.